Hello viewers, welcome to our channel, Engineering Educator. I am Tuhin with you. Today I am going to discuss WBPSC Assistant Engineer 2017 Mechanical Engineering Previous Year Question. Previously we have discussed four set and today is set number five. Before I going to start the question, please don't forget to subscribe our channel engineering educators so question number 87 a clock is a, sorry a clock with a second pendulum is gaining 5 minute a day to correct it so to correct it we need to the length of the pendulum to be increased so we know that time period t is linearly proportional to root, root over of length of length so we need to increase the length of the pendulum question number 88 a train moving 60 km per hour is struck by a bullet moving at 1000 meter per second at right angle to the train the direction at which the bullet will appear to strike the train so we need to find the angle means theta so here q1 equal to 60 km that is v1 vector so that is 50 by 3 i and v2 is 1000 j so cos theta equal to v1 dot v2 divided by v1 mod of v1 mod of v2 so if that will be 0 if you calculate so theta equal to 90 degree so correct answer is 90 degree now question number 89 the statement if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the other two this is known as so this is known as Lemmy's theory so from here we can see that three force a b c acting on a point and these are acting alpha beta alpha beta and gamma so as per lemmy's theory we know all, all know that a by sin alpha equal to b by sin beta equal to c by sin gamma moving to question number 90 a ball of mass 1 kg is moving with a velocity 2 meter per second collide directly with a stationary ball of mass 2 kg and comes to rest after impact the velocity of the second ball after after the impact will be so so we know that m1 v1 minus m2 v2 equal to 0 so m1 equal to 1 kg v1 equal to 2 m2 equal to 2 kg so v2 will be 1 so answer is c 1 meter per second move to question number next if the angle of friction is 0 a body will experience 0 friction so 
angle of friction is zero means the surface is smooth so there will be no friction now question number 92 so for this question the angular acceleration of a flywheel decreases uniformly from 8 radian per second square to 2 radian per second square in 6 second at which time its angular velocity is 42 radian per second so we need to find the initial angular velocity so we all know that v equal to u plus ft here v is given 42 u plus f is given 8 into 1 so u will be 34 similarly u again here v will be 34 u 2 f 7 and t will be 1 so u2 will be 27 by doing this way we will find the initial angular velocity 12 radian per second going to next question the slope on a road is generally provided on the curve is known as angle of backing the slope of the curve is which provided in the road is known as angle of backing question number 94 a crate weighing 40 kg rest on a cart moving with an acceleration and coefficient friction between the cart and the crate is 0 0.5 so here m is given and mu is given the maximum value of the acceleration of the cart so that the crate does not slip along the cart so we have to find the maximum acceleration f we know that f equal to mu n mu n equal to mg means f equal to mu mg or, or we know that f equal to f here is force equal to mass into acceleration into mu mg here m cancel out so f equal to mu into g and the answer will be 4.9 going to question number 95 a rope weighing 0.5 kg per meter hang from a drum with a height of the 6 meter the work done in winding up of rope will be let's assume this is the drum and this height is 6 meter so CG will be in 3 meter. So mass of the drum, mass of the drum 6 into 0 0.5 into 3 kg and the work done work done is 3 that means mgh so uh, mass equal to m g equal to 10 and h this is 3 that means 90 here i guess the answer is wrong it must be 90 so you can check it 
Now question number 96. If the angle of friction is 5, the efficiency of screw jack would be so efficiency of screw, screw jack will be 1 minus sin 5 divided by 1 plus sin 5. Now question number 97. The radius of the gyration of a solid sphere of radius r equal to so we know that radius of gyration of a solid sphere is 2 by 5 r square that will be 0 0.4 r square that is a 0 0.4 r square when a train is rounding a car to prevent the th th side thrust on the wheel flanges of car outside the rails rise so it will prevent to rise the rail question number 99 the moment of inertia of a circular area of radius r with the respect to diameter axis is so we note that moment of inertia i equal to pi by 64 d to the power 4 so if we put d equal to 2 r twice r or 4 the answer will be pi r to the power 4 divided by r moving to question number 100 time required to stop a car moving with a velocity 20 meter per second within a distance of 40 meter is equal to so v square equal to u square plus twice f s so here v equal to 0 u equal to equal to 20 that means 400 plus f we need to find out and s is 40 so fiction is minus 5 meter square again we have to apply v equal to u plus ft so v equal to 0 equal to 20 minus 5t so t will be 4 sigma answer is 4 second move to question number next question in hardnell governor if the stiffness of the spring is increased the governor will so the answer will be governor will less sensible k stiffness linearly proportional to force where f equal to m r omega square where omega proportional to n means speed of the governor so where stiffness when stiffness is increases speed increases speed when speed increases the governor become less sensitive that's why we stiffness sensitivity decreases going to next a kinematic chain became a mechanism when any one of the link is fixed so kinematic chain it is this is a kinematic chain when if this is fixed 
when this is fixed this will be a mechanism now question number 103 the pressure angle of the pressure angle in involute involute profile gear it always remain constant pressure angle always remain constant next question 104 in a ball bearing a ball is subjected to cyclic stress or fatigue ball subjected to fatigue moving to next question in a vapor compression cycle the lowest temperature occurs in so let's draw the vapor compression cycle ts diagram so this is the ts diagram of the vapor compression cycle here 1 2 2 is compressor 2 2 3 is condenser 3 to 4 is expansion valve and 4 to 1 is evaporator so ts diagram we can see here that 4 to 1 here the temperature is lowest also here pressure will be also lowest so the lowest temperature occurs in evaporator now question number 106 for fluctuating loads the appropriate bearing would be for fluctuating load appropriate bearing will be needle rural uh, rural bearing here only roller bearing is given so it, this will be the right answer otherwise needle rural bearing This is all for today. In next set, we will discuss other question also. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.